The Terriers of Boston University rallied to their seventh straight victory with a 4-1 win over the Maine Black Bears at Parker Rink on Friday night. Maine got on the scoreboard late in the first period on a power play marker from Blaine Byron. Against the Black Bears who have been better than 33% recently, Fisi gave it up here to Byron. Black Bears trying to set up shop. They get a less than a half minute. Byron's shot was deflected and a goal. You know, I was just going to say, we got jinxed on that. Wait till that penalty's over before we told what the yeah. was. Little bouncing puck. The Terriers finally drew even late in the middle stanza as Clayton Keller, the game's first star, collected a rebound of a Brandon Hickey point bid. Down, he is trying to create something offensively. Yeah, he has been this whole period. Yeah. Greenway, half wall, Carpenter, all the way back, far point, long wrist is blocked. Keller got a break and scores! Clayton Keller, low, far circle on the backhand, and the Terriers tie it with 1.32 left second period. Finally got the trap that you talked about, Bernie, in front of the net to create the screen to get a rebound, and you want to put a rebound in front of Keller's stick, 15. Deadlocked in the third period, Bobo Carpenter notched the game winner on the power play. Yeah, boxed out along the near wall, puck comes back, there's Chris to keep it in. Fabro slows it down, Fabro far point, Fabro for Carpenter, go! Fabro Carpenter buries it from the near dot, and on the power play, the Terriers claim the lead. Great puck movement there, Bernie, point A to point B. Over to the back side. Jordan Greenway followed with another power play tally, just 150 later. Was deflected, almost hopped back toward the main net. Still about half a power play to work with Keller trying to wrist it long. Couldn't get it to the cage. Greenway now grabs it. Greenway with a shot and a goal! Jordan Greenway just rips the wrister up far side. Top shelf on McGovern. And the Terriers have a 3-1 to -one lead with six Straight up and he Nick Olson closed out the Terrier offensive flurry, finishing a play on the initial rush from line mates Ryan Clunan and Nick Roberto. Shot is blocked up out of the zone. Now Roberto shifting in. Roberto's got some folks with him. Clunan in the middle for Olson. Olson in front. What a goal! Nick Olson deeks to the backhand. And the Terriers are running at the Black Bears. They now lead it 4 to 1. Skill. It's the only word I can think of there. Just three forwards coming down the ice. The patience to make that pass. To the three goals in two minutes and 58 seconds was more than enough to get the Terriers on the bus north with two points for a rematch Saturday night in Orono. The Terriers' next home game is a week hence, Friday, January 27th, first Miramac at Parker Rink.